algo increíble. Yo solo quería agarrarlo, abrazarlo. She just wanted to grab him and hug him. Finally home, the three-year-old little boy who went missing for nearly three days, released from the hospital and receives a special escort back home. Right now at four, what his mother is saying about the massive effort to find him. It was the news that many around our area and around the nation were waiting for and hoping for. Christopher was found alive and safe Saturday morning after going missing Wednesday afternoon. He was hospitalized until this afternoon after he was released. Our cameras were rolling as he received an emotional escort escort to his home near Plannersville. KPRC 2's Devin Clark joining us live now with the message from his mother and more on this happy ending for the Ramirez family. Devin, how is Christopher doing? He is doing just fine, Keith and Christine, and what a welcome home he received. These balloons behind me don't even tell half the story. Little Christopher was escorted by law enforcement, good Samaritans, and well-wishers after what was nothing short of an extraordinary journey. But his mother predicted this happy ending. La gloria es para Dios. Araceli Nunez says glory to God. Today she is finally back home with her youngest son, three-year-old Christopher Ramirez. Muchas gracias a todos. After breathing a huge sigh of relief, Nunez thanked the countless law enforcement officials, good Samaritans, and media who helped in the efforts to find little Christopher. He wandered off from his home in Plannersville on Wednesday and is believed to have spent nearly three days in the woods. On Saturday, he was found more than five miles away by a landowner, side a strong belief in God, Nunez says she never lost faith. Gracias a la persona que lo encontró, que llamó. Gracias. Pero yo el sábado, yo estaba segura que mi hijo iba a aparecer. Thank you to the person who found him, Nunez says. But Saturday, I knew my son was going to appear. The man who found the toddler called it a miracle. He's just a tough little boy. Gonna be a... Navy SEAL someday? I don't know, man. He toughed it out in the woods for all those days. I don't know what God has planned for it. In fact, when I picked him up, I said, little man, God's got some big plans for you. We're told little Christopher is interested in a career in law enforcement. So before being taken inside for a much-deserved nap, he was given some deputy gear and an FBI shirt. And even though he is only three years old, his future in law enforcement looks bright. Earlier, the Grimes County Sheriff jokingly said that little Christopher already passed the required survival test. We'll have more on this coming up at 6. For now, reporting live in Plannersville, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News. What a tremendous relief, Devin. Mm -hmm. We appreciate the update there. Thank you. And you can read exactly how things unfolded and where they're at right now on clicktohouston.com. There you can also watch today's reunion with Christopher and his family as he was brought home from the hospital.